Good morning, YouTube friends. It is the Saturday before Christmas, and I'm just going to do a day in the life. I just kind of woke up this morning, and I thought, you know what? It's been a while since I've just sort of followed us around all day, so that's what I thought I would do. Say good morning. Take my little flower on my sweatshirt. Yes, we love your flower on your sweatshirt. So first off this morning, I'm going to be making some cookies. This is a chocolate crinkle dough. Chocolate crinkles are one of Warren's absolute favorite Christmas cookies. And I usually put it off as long as possible. One, because I know they're going to all get eaten up. <clears throat> and two, because I kind of dread making these. They're just so sticky. And um, you just, once your hands are all gooey and everything from the dough, you really can't do anything else until you're all done. So I've got this going. This is yummy, yummy. They're like a brownie cookie. You want to tell us? anything about the day? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to go ice fishing. Warren's got plans to take the kids ice fishing today and so I'm not sure if I'm going to make it out there or not because Emily asked me to help her a little bit with her wedding dress. We have to do the bustle so we might uh, work on that. Dad, I can see why you like these because they, they look like a donut because they're covered in white yeah. and I can't find them all because they're being buried <laughs> that they do that's what happens so I'm sure that everybody else that makes chocolate crinkles has already learned this tip but there are two things that make this cookie making go a lot smoother one is to make sure that you chill your dough for a long time I chilled it overnight so it was nice and cold um, and even then, my hands, well, I've washed them now, but even then, my hands were completely gooey with the chocolate, Ow. with the chocolate dough. The other tip is to have multiple pans. Other years, oh. what I've done is I'm always trying to have the least amount of dishes possible, and so Hello. I roll them out. Hey, Joe. Oh, wow. Are you getting ready to go ice fishing? Me oh. too. Oh, yeah. Hi. Yeah, and you got on your oh. pants, I see. I like oh. that. Oh, where are my snow well. pants? Um, well, um, I got a well, um, shack, and well, I found a man. You, man, yes, man. I know you were watching Shrek, weren't you? My swamp, yes, it is your swamp, huh? Yeah, it's my swamp. Okay, so as I was saying, the key is to having multiple pans. So rather than trying to have the least amount of dishes, because, you know, I used to always try to do one pan, then I'd wash my hands, and then when those came out, take them off, because I was trying to, you know, keep the dishes down. But I found it's just so much easier to do them all at once, fill up all the pans. <laughs> Emily just walked in and she's so excited for chocolate crinkles and you know it just works so much smoother do it all at one time get all of them on wash my hands only once so that's what we're doing and again I underbaked these just slightly and because you really want a good chewy chocolate crinkle that's what makes them the best and everybody's so excited because they're going ice fishing all kinds of uh, background noise right now I'll pull it So Amber's trying to make some avocado toast out of it. <laughs> but her avocado is not ripe enough. Bill so she's dirtying just about it. every just single dish wait. in the kitchen. Don't trying to mash her avocado. It's ridiculous. All I want is some avocado toast, but now what you should do scoop that whole thing out and get the whole thing. It won't That's the thing. Everybody so has an idea of how she should. So no, mash this just avocado. Bought a ripe avocado. Mom bought it. I bought it. I bought it. Mom. Don't diss me. I bought the avocado. And I think some of my ice fishermen are back. Who's back? How's it going, Peter? Good. Yes? Yeah. Are you trying to find warmer clothes? It's cold out there today, isn't it? Yeah, Joe came out there and he had just a thin pair of gloves. Oh, no. So I was letting him wear my nice big warm one foot. Oh. I don't know, I gotta find well, one. maybe if you dig around by the hats, sometimes some get tucked over there. Oh. Or, let's see, maybe you'll just have to wear two pair? Like, maybe you could wear your Spider-Man and then something else? We don't have a Those aren't Spider-Man. Oh, I'm sorry, Superman? Where's Joe's warm ones? 
Well, Joe, those fit? will not fit, Joe. Those are too little. Oh. Those will fit. Does Maria have warm enough clothes? Yeah, she has nice and warm ones. Okay, because these are warm too. If you want to take extras for her, no. no? We are always losing mittens. Um, let's look somewhere else. All right, so I mentioned to you guys that the guys are all out ice fishing and Maria too. Um, and I'm in here with Emily, and we are actually working on some wedding plans here. I can't show you her because, of course, she has her dress on, which it's amazing it's amazing but i am looking here at youtube of course you know you can just learn so much from youtube it's amazing and i am learning about how to sew a bustle because the dress didn't come with a bustle and so we're trying to decide if we're going to do this making this loop and using the satin buttons or if we're just going to try something more simple i guess and use the hooks and eyes just watching some YouTube videos to get a feel for what is out there. So we also found a really great tip on YouTube about something called a waist stay. And that's something that you put um, like kind of around the boning in the dress and then you use this piece of elastic to almost make like a, a waist belt underneath the dress and that holds your strapless dress in place so that you can dance the night away and do all the things that you wanna do without risk of your dress hitting the floor. Cause that would... Um, that would be so embarrassing. So it appears that most of the bustles have three spots. It appears that they come up in three spots or five. So do you have any preference of what oh, you might want? Me? Three or five? Let's just do three. Three spots? Yeah. Okay. I know that this is not specifically a wedding gown video, but I just want to tell you guys that if you are, if you ever find yourself in a position of having to measure for a custom fit dress that you're going to buy online, definitely pull the measuring tape tight. I think I was a little bit leery when measuring Emily and I just kind of, I put the measuring tape around firm, but not quite tight. And I do think that since ordering the dress, I have seen a few other tutorials and things like that about measuring for a bridal gown. And it did say uh, that you should definitely pull the measuring tape quite firm uh, so that you get the best measurement. Because once you put the dress on, you know, it's like we're putting on a pair of blue jeans in the morning. They've just come out of the dryer and they're kind of tight. But then as the day goes on and as you wear them and walk around and stuff like that, they kind of loosen up and you find yourself maybe pulling them up a little bit. That's that's kind of what's happening to the dress. We have to get a little bit creative here in finding ways to keep the dress um, as tight as we possibly can. And I do think that if I would have measured her a little bit tighter, that would have been better. So just a FYI, in case you find yourself in that position sometime. Okay, so we are working at doing the hook and eyes. So we have two of them done for the hooks. So there's gonna be a total of five hooks and five eyes. And I've got two hooks done. And we've been working on this for a long time. An hour and a, half. <laughs> a long time. This is really, really, really taking a while. But anyways, we're going to keep plugging away at that. of course the title of my channel a country life we live in the country and that means that our internet service is hard to come by currently we actually have a hot spot because that is we have one other option that is available right now but they're giving me some slower speeds than what i even can get with my at&t hotspot but i wanted to tell you guys something that i just learned about while i was doing all this calling to try to find new internet service over the last few weeks and i learned about something called speed test i am completely addicted to testing the speed of my computer so let me just show you guys how this works. So basically, if you just go online, and you can do this on your phone too. I've done it on my phone uh, a number of times. Just go to 
uh, your search engine and do type in speed test one will pop up that will just you can run automatically and then there's all kinds of other companies that do it you, what you do is you hit run speed test and then it does uh, a download and an upload speed test and it shows you what you're getting for megabits per second and so it's showing me that i'm currently getting 7.32 for download speed which is actually really good for me and then it's going to show me my upload speed and this is the speed that I upload videos to YouTube and it's horrible guys horrible yes so I'm at 0.23 megabits of upload I have been completely addicted to this I am running speed tests all the time trying to figure out the best time of day and just the right amount of devices that can be on so that I still get a fast upload because as you know uploading is important if you have a YouTube channel because you want to be able to do that fast you know when people start talking about oh I have this upload and download speed and stuff like that I had no idea what any of that meant for the for the longest time I just figured the higher the number the better it was but now I actually have a way to test my system which has been so fun so definitely try it well, tell me about fishing well Whoa. First we caught nothing. Okay. And then me and Maria went up there. We walked from the far island all the way to the close island and back. Uh-huh. And then Did you catch anything there? No. In the end, did you catch anything at all? No. Nothing. Not even one tip yeah. up or anything. Yeah, nothing the whole day. The whole day. That's too bad. Huh, we finished up with the bridal gown. We ended up having to do five little hooks and eyes. We originally thought three, but we just thought the weight of the fabric, we'd end up doing five. So we finished that up. It's getting close to supper. Warren's actually making some pizzas, but I want to show you guys something quick. Another Christmas present was delivered today. And so this actually, again, I ordered this from Amazon. This is a quilted flannel for Joseph. And I cannot tell you guys we searched far and wide to try to find him a quilted flannel that had snaps because I just, he cannot button. And when he does get where he's ready for something to be off, and if we can't attend to him immediately, he will just tear it. And so most of his shirts that have buttons are missing the top button here for sure and some of them even here because he just pulls so we searched and searched for something that was snap this is so adorable it has the little jean placket here and the denim edging at the bottom the quilting is so cute the flannel is soft he's gonna just he's gonna think this is so cool He's going to be just like dad in his quilted flannels here at Christmas time. I buy a lot of clothes from Amazon. I actually have planned uh, maybe sometime in January. I'd love to do a video on clothing from Amazon. Uh, all the things that we purchased for Christmas and things that we've gotten amber and things like that. So now I can wrap up Joseph's something to wear because he has everything. $20 was about my top budget for a quilted flannel for a little boy but finding something with snaps was a complete win in my book if i don't have to sew on buttons i think the added cost is definitely worth it so that actually was 31.99 at amazon a little bit more than i'd like to spend but like i said it's it's going to be a win for me because then i don't have to sew on buttons all the time there's another one in the oven i don't mind that well, there's one in the freezer. We're I watching we monster, three trucks. Pieces in the stew. monster trucks. Monster trucks. What are we doing? Are we praying? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, right. Pray. Name oh, okay. Joseph, come on. And the son. And in the, the name Holy of the Father, Spirit. and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bless, Bless, Bless us, Lord, us, O Lord, in these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come on. In the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. We're having pizza. My swamp. That's your swamp? Yeah. Okay. You want pizza? What kind of pizza, kind of pizza do you want? Sausage um, or pepperoni? Sausage. Well, the kids exchanged names a few weeks ago, and we're here just doing a little shopping, finally, trying to figure out what they want. Oh well. So let's see, Amber, do you want to take somebody and help them get their gift for their person? Sure. Who do you want to take? Do you want to take Peter? 
Okay. Okay, <laughs> so you tell me? Oh, Amber, oh, well. Peter, you're gonna go with Amber and she's gonna help you find a present for your name person. Take this. Where are we meeting up? You remember, it's $15 okay. oh, well, is the max. Um, wait, where is, is he gonna tell me who he has? Oh, well. He'll tell you. Okay, go. Shh. I already know. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. Um, All right, so now we have to go and get a present. Oh, well. Um, yeah. All right, are you gonna go? Yeah. Okay, go. I don't even know what Parkinson wants. Go start looking. Sam. 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 Huh? What? So I'm pretty sure every single other person in town is shopping right now. Is that what we're getting the people? No. Clearly those are over the budget. <laughs> what, honey? Oh, well, um, the donkey likes to fly? Yeah, I, have a, yeah. Oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> That looks like a gun you want? Yeah, that's I see. mine. Uh huh. <laughs> Joe, come on. Remember, we're not shopping for you. We're shopping for your, shopping for your person tonight, aren't we? Yeah. Let's keep going. Okay. We okay. made it out of there without any major catastrophes. How was shopping, Joe? Was it fun? Yeah, perfect. Good. I'm glad you had fun. New skates. Yeah, you got a great gift for your uh, secret Santa person, oh, didn't well. you? Did you have fun, oh Peter? What? Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. What are we gonna do now? I'm gonna probably rest. No. Where are we going oh, now? We're gonna go walk through the lights. Yes. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's kind of dark over here. Say goodnight. You want to sign us out? No. Are you sure? I don't know what to say. You say. Look in here. <laughs> no, Mom. I, I'll be next to you, but you say it. I don't know what we're saying. Yeet. 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 Whatever that means. I don't know what that means either.